All right, so in continuation of the previous problem where I worked on finding how much we could make, how much N2 we could make, um, given finding what the limiting reactant is. So now we want to find how much of the excess reactant would be left over. So we have two options. One of them was the limiting reactant. We're left with the other one being the excess. So that means if we found that copper oxide was the limiting reactant, and you want to find how much of the excess are left over, well, you have to see, so right here, we have to, we produced a, a maximum of 0.1894. So that means the NH3 has to also produce 0.1894 moles of N2 because it, they're, they're both on the reactant side, they have to work together, they produce the same amount of N2 in this same reaction. So, you're given 0.5316 moles of NH3, and they could produce a total of 0.2658. But you want this number to be 0.1894. So you could do a little proportion, and you have 0.5316 moles produce point two six five eight just copying from right there and that would be equal to what number needed of nh3 so x moles of nh3 that that produce point one eight nine four because we want this number to be point one eight nine four so you just cross multiply and then you would be left with once you cross multiply the, this side here you have point two six five eight times x and that would be equal to these two multiplied by each other. And then that would be, using the calculator, 0 0.5316 times 0 0.1894. And then we divide by, this is 0 0.100685. Divide by this number, both sides. And then your x would be equal to, in case we're dividing by 0 0.2658 would be 0.3788 moles and that moles of NH3 so that means we only needed this amount of moles of NH3 to complete this uh, reaction but we were given 0.5316 so what's left over what we were given minus what we used so you subtract 0.5316 by this number 0.3788 and that would leave you with 0.1528 moles of NH3 left over. That sums it up.